We're going to do an unboxing of this HP all-in-one. It's a TouchSmart PC. Model number doesn't really matter. The majority of our TouchSmarts come in packaging similar to this. And we're just going to show you some of the nuances of uh, unboxing it. Make sure that you don't lose any of the components in there, um, sp specifically around the wireless keyboard and mouse. And so um, what I want to show you here is just uh, some basics on the uh, unboxing. Um, what you want, you can, don't really have to worry about uh, hurting the product at this point because it's so far down into the box you can use a box knife to cut it open. When you open it up is that you're going to see the inside of the box with some setup instructions and it'll give you a quick tour of how to open that up. So what we're going to do first is just kind of open that up and show you that the setup instructions are going to show you how to plug it in, connect your wireless or your wired mouse. There's the power button location and then it gives you a quick tour of all the uh, different uh, plugs on the back and on the side of the PC. And then some tips on navigating through Windows. So the first thing is the accessory box set right up on top and it'll show you what's inside the accessory. Basically we have your wireless keyboard, power cable, power adapter, wireless mouse, and some documentation. I'll show you just quickly what's inside there but we'll go through this in more in depth. And what you're going to see here is the power adapter, your power cord, the wireless mouse, and the documentation. We'll set those aside for now. As we get further into the box, what you're going to see is down in there, you can see where the keyboard box is. Not really easy to get out right now, so what we're going to do first is just take out a piece of foam right here. So that's protective foam. Now there is some tricks in getting the, uh, the actual PC out, and most of the time it'll just slide right out and you have your all-in-one out of the box. We'll set that aside until we're finished getting the rest. There's your keyboard box, and we're basically unboxed. All right, so we've unboxed the all-in-one, um, still wrapped up in the plastic. We have the keyboard and accessory box, and we'll just kind of go through the rest of this um, on the back of this one. And it'll be a little bit different depending on the models. You just have some tape to undo the plastic. Comes off pretty, pretty easily. And then you can just slide it down. And once that comes off, it's pretty easy to do. You'll want to take the back of the stand and just set it up so it doesn't fall. And the back piece here, we have a piece of plastic covering the HP logo. Take that off. There's a foam piece in the bottom here to keep it stable while shipping. And then we have clear plastic all the way around. With little edges that will help you pick it up and remove it pretty easily as you can see. We even have some clear plastic on the bottom here. And there's a little green piece right down here. That is the spot to pull that up. And now we're unboxed completely. All right, so we're going to set that aside for a minute, and we're going to go through the accessories now real quick. 
Uh, in the accessories, you have the keyboard box and you have the accessory box. Like we showed before, the accessory box is going to have your keyboard, your power cable, your adapter, and the wireless mouse and documentation. What's really important about this is going to be the mouse. We're going to set that aside for just a minute. You have the power cord, uh, some documentation, that's where your warranty statement would be, and then the power adapter. And basically these are just in some plastic bags. And we'll set those aside. That's basically the things that will power you. Now, the mouse box is going to be probably the most important piece to uh, pay attention to. Inside the mouse box we have the mouse and the receiver, or what we call the wireless dongle. And this is what the mouse and keyboard communicate with um, to the PC. So instead of having two cables from the mouse and keyboard, you get just this one wireless dongle, goes into the USB slot, and um, that'll communicate between the mouse and the keyboard and the PC. So we'll set that aside. Another uh, part of the mouse that's really important is this. Right? So you have your battery compartment, and we're just going to open this up just so you can kind of see that. That the this is just blocking the keep the uh, batteries from connecting, and you see a little light come on there. And on the back, you're going to see a connect button and an on-off button. And sometimes what we'll do is we're going to have the on and off button um, turned to the on position, but if it is turned to the off, you'll need to turn that on as well. On the keyboard, basically the same sort of thing, except there's no wireless dongle in there. There's only one dongle between the keyboard and the mouse. And what you see here is keyboard wrapped up in plastic. We'll go ahead and take that out of the box. And out of the plastic. And on the back of this, what you'll see here is the keyboard door and the battery tab right there. Now, what you want to do is you want to slide this down this way if you need to replace the batteries. Um, but what you can do is just pull that out and it'll come out. What you want to make sure of is that it didn't rip at all. If it didn't rip, then you're good and you should be good to go with that keyboard. And that's the entire unboxing of this HP All-in-One Touch Smart.